Hello everyone. In this session, I have taken the topic uh, to derive an expression for the radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. So, to derive that curve, we are going to consider a curve in the form Cartesian form. Consider a curve which is of uh, y equal to f of x y equal to f of x in a plane. We are going to consider a curve y equal to f of x x y plane a curve called y equal to f of x. This will be the initial point. So consider a curve. I will name this as initial point of the curve as A and I will consider a point called P as it is a curve, a Cartesian curve. This point P is defined by P of x comma y and draw a tangent at this point which touches the initial line, which touches the initial line and makes an angle psi. Initial line or also it is called as x axis or also it is called as x axis as it is an y x y coordinates. So and this arc and this is the length called a p arc a p this length is defined by s. So consider a curve y equal to f of x this that is uh, one point number one then let uh, p of x let p of x means p of x comma y be a point be a point be a point on it be a point on it then draw a tangent draw a tangent draw a tangent draw a tangent which which touches the initial line which touches the initial line which touches the initial line or x axis initial line and makes an angle and makes an angle psi and makes an angle what psi makes an angle psi and also we have an arc i can say that we have an arc we have an arc ap we have an arc ap this is the notation arc ap equal to yes this is enough so just i have considered a curve y equal to f of x and uh, on that curve i have considered a point called p of x comma y drawing a tangent from that point which touches the initial line and makes an angle psi and uh, we have an, a small arc called ap which is equal to s yes. so this description is enough to define this also you can extend if you want extension passes through the initial line uh, the initial line so next uh, from the figure i can consider uh, tan psi as we have considered a tangent tan psi is defined by dy by dx is a slope of the tangent so it is given by dy by dx it is a very simple uh, proof you can easily solve this within uh, 5 minutes so dy by tan psi is equal to dy by dx then differentiate differentiate this curve differentiate this uh, with respect to yes Differentiating on both the side with respect to yes, we are going to get uh, d by ds of uh, tan psi. Derivative of tan psi with respect to yes, I am doing. So it is secant square psi, secant square psi into d psi by ds, d psi by ds, which is equal to d by ds of d by ds of dy by dx, d by dx of dy by dx. So, I am going with a small uh, simplification here. 
I'll make this uh, d by ds instead of d by ds multiply and divide by dx. So I will get d by dx of dy by dx into dx by ds dx by ds dx by ds so this is what uh, the right hand side part and left hand side is retained with as it is secant square psi is a multiplied with d psi by ds then but uh, we know that uh, dx by ds is nothing but cos psi dx by ds is nothing but cos psi and by definition of curvature and also by definition of curvature we can define d uh, we can define d psi by ds as d psi by ds as 1 over rho 1 by rho so therefore substituting all this we are going to get the above equation as secant square psi secant square psi into 1 by rho 1 by rho which is equal to d square y by dx square as it is we are differentiating dy by dx with respect to x again so we are going to get d square y by dx square into dx by ds is nothing but cos psi dx by dx is nothing but cos psi now rearranging this and finding out rho i can express this as rho as I can rewrite this rho as rho equal to just I am cross multiplying the terms. So I am going to get rho rho equal to I'm going to get rho equal to. So as we know that uh, uh, 1 over uh, 1 over cos is nothing but secant. So we can rewrite that as secant q secant cube psi secant square into secant secant cube psi all divided by d square y by dx square d square y by dx square so i will rewrite this expression secant as we know that uh, by loss of indices a power n whole power 1 by m is nothing but a power m by uh, n by m right a power n by m so knowing this condition uh, if we consider a square or a cube whatever i want i will consider a cube so i will make sure this has uh, to get uh, a cube this should be equal to again as a cube i will rewrite this uh, a cube as i can rewrite this a cube can be written as a square whole power 3 by 2 so square and square root get cancelled you are going to left out with a cube itself so therefore in that uh, way i can express secant cube psi as secant square psi whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by d square y by dx square d square y by dx square so and using the standard identity secant square psi can be written as 1 plus tan square psi 1 plus tan square psi all rise to power 3 by 2 this whole divided by d square y by dx square and as we consider tan psi by uh, tan psi is nothing but dy by dx here as we consider tan psi is nothing but dy by dy by dx so i can also uh, define tan psi as what here dy by dx so you are left out with rho as what here rho equal to and i will go with one more notation here dy by dx as y1 and uh, d square y by dx square as y2 i am going to get an expression a beautiful expression will be getting here as 1 plus y1 square all rise to power 3 by 2 all divided by y2 so this is the expression of radius of curvature in cartesian curve for the cartesian curve so this is the rho for cartesian form so if you want to find the radius of curvature of cartesian form we are going to make use of this 
and also if you have the problem like parametric form you can also convert that parametric to dy by dx and make use of this cartesian formula itself so therefore i can define that rho for radius of uh, rho for cartesian form as 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by y2 so i think you all understood thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubts you can put a comment and sub those who are not subscribed my channel kindly subscribe